Hello plant friends, Adina here from Plants Equals Happiness. In today's video, um, I wanted to talk about um, three Hoyas. One of them is quite new in my collection and the other uh, two, they are quite uh, well known. And the uh, first one is Hoya Serpents, the second one is Hoya Linearis. And the Hoya, the new Hoya that I have in my collection, it's Hoya uh, Biancensis. So I will show you Hoya Serpents and uh, Hoya Linearis and Hoya Biacensis. So let's get started. As you can see, I have uh, three of the Hoya's, Hoya uh, Serpents. One of them is in Leka, which thrives, to be honest with you, and the other two, they are in soil. Um, the first one, which is, is in soil, uh, lives in my bathroom and it thrives because he loves uh, humidity. And the second one is in my greenhouse. And uh, uh, grows slowly. But to be honest with you, the uh, best one who grows very, very well, it's the one with, which is in Leka. Uh, Hoya Serpents loves Leka very, very much. Um, the exotic Hoya Serpents, also widely known as a wax uh, flower plant, is a sight to behold, even when it's not in full bloom. This tropical species give rise to almost perfectly round leaves with beautiful green flowers. Undoubtedly, this plant can make any dull corner look colorful and li lively. You can see how cute the leaves are. The shape, they are very round and deep green. The color, they're absolutely beautiful. I love, 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 love this Hoya. It's absolutely a beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. The Hoya Serpents plant thrives in bright, dappled sunlight and has average water needs. It enjoys being water every other day and loves every bit of humidity it can get. To be honest with you, I um, water mine uh, when it's dry, especially if I have it in soil, like this too. And I wait for the soil to dry out and then I water my Hoya Serpents because the leaves, they are quite thick and they are quite succulent as well. So uh, this compact serpents plant grows well in well-draining soil mixture. It can tolerate a wide range of temperature. Uh, the soil that I'm using uh, on this Hoya serpents, of course, it's an African violet soil because, um, you know, uh, Hoyas needs a soil, a very airy soil and orchid bark and lots of orchid bark on both of them and seems to love uh, the soil very much. This perennial species arises from the family of Apokinakea, and uh, the Hoya Serpents plant care is not really as difficult as his, its family name's pronunciation. It is an attractive plant with typical plant needs. Hoya Serpents naturally hails from the Himalaya reg region. It is found in several Asian countries, including Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia. It was first sighted by Joseph Dalton Hookery back in the 18, 1880, and today has over 200 known species. The striking serpent's plant is a favorite houseplant chose among the masses large, largely due to its lovely inflorescence. The Hoya serpent's plant produces unique pale green flowers that have a sweet, vague fragrance. However, their smell is stronger when several flowers are open at the same time. I will show you the flowers, which they are absolutely breathtaking. Absolutely beautiful. So the flowers they are absolutely gorgeous, exactly like the um, plant itself. 
to be honest with you i love hoya serpents not only for the flowers but for the foliage as well and i will show you in more uh, look how beautiful they are absolutely gorgeous and i can't wait for this hoya to flower this year for me one of them has a peduncle but i'm not sure if it's, if that this peduncle i will show you <coughs> sorry you can see it has a peduncle but i don't know if uh, this peduncle it's active or not so As you have all known, uh, the Hoyas plants frequently grow epiphytical in treetops, but they also develop on felled trees over which the Hoya plants are relatively easy to uh, locate. The Hoya serpents plant enjoy being potted in a coarse and well-draining medium. Ensure that the soil is not too wet or dry as their roots um, can uh, either rot or dry out within a short time. The ideal pH for this wax plant is a 6 and 7, between 6 and 7, slightly acidic to neutral. This perennial beauty thrives in pure cocoa chips or peat soil moss mix. I would recommend you prepare a potting mix containing an equal share of peat, perlite and orchid. This will create a considerable airy potting mix that will help the serpent's plant grow well. So, um, as you can see, um, my potting mix, uh, it has a lot of orchid bark and of course a lot of perlite. <coughs> the Hoya serpents comes from the lands of the Himalayas. Therefore, uh, drying it out markedly can lead to serious uh, consequences. The serpent's plant has normally watering needs. If your soil mix does not excessively hold water, water each inch of the plant is not necessary. However, if your potting mix tends to hold a lot of water, your serpent plant roots may die out, as in case with excessive pity mixes. Let your best watering guide uh, be the plant soil. Water when it seems to dry and withhold watering when sufficient wet. So um, I water my Hoya serpents when it's dry. And of course, uh, you can see this one, it's in uh, Leka and absolutely thrives in Leka. Hoya in general loves, 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 loves Leka. So this is my Hoya serpents. The second one, which I absolutely love, I love, 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 love this Hoya very, very much. And I'm sure lots of you love this Hoya as well. That this is Hoya Linearis. This Hoya Linearis, as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very long very very long and i absolutely love 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 this hoya i absolutely love this hoya hoya linearis is native to uh, himalayas um, you have to keep this hoya in bright but indirect filter light i keep this hoya in my kitchen so it has a lot of bright indirect uh, filtered light I water this Hoya moderately uh, during the growing season, allowing the top layer of soil to dry out between watering. In the winter time, water lightly to prevent the plant from drying out, lightly to prevent, yeah, to prevent the plant from drying out. To be honest with you, I uh, water this Hoya when it's very dry. And look how beautiful and lush this Hoya is. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this Hoya. 
uh, this Hoya likes moderate high humidity. To be honest with you, in my house, I think the humidity it's like 50-60% and this Hoya is really, really happy. You can see the soil that I'm using, the same soil, African violet uh, soil, because it has a lot of perlite and of course a lot of orchid bark. In the springtime, I think I'm going to start to fertilize this Hoya and I'm going to use a new fertilizer that I recently bought. And this is a fish fertilizer. You can see Alaska fish fertilizer. And I can't wait for, to use this uh, fertilizer for my Hoyas. And of course, I use Super Thrive as well, which is a vitamin solution enhanced with kelp uh, seaweed. And since that, they love, 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 love this type of fertilizer. And I think I'm going to start fertilizing um, end of February, beginning of March. And I will show you again how long this Hoya Linearis is. I absolutely love, 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 love the flowers. And of course, love the leaves as well. They are very unusual and beautiful leaves. And this Hoya didn't flower for me yet, but I'm sure this year is going to flower. And I'll show you the flowers. They are absolutely beautiful. White, as you can see, pure white, which I absolutely adore. And I can wait for this Hoya to flower for me. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous Hoya to have in your collection. I will show you how beautiful it is. I absolutely adore this Hoya. It's absolutely beautiful. And it grows very, very easily, to be honest with you. Look how beautiful it is. Beautiful, beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. Absolutely gorgeous. They look like uh, small beans. Beautiful. Very, very nice Hoya. The third Hoya which is a new Hoya in my collection. This is Hoya Biancensis. Look how beautiful it is. I love the, uh, the leaves. They are pure green. And uh, you can see they have like a, a round form. Absolutely love, love, love this Hoya. This is a new Hoya in my collection and I can't wait for this one to grow and to flower as well. It says that uh, um, flowers very, very uh, difficult. It's not easy to flower um, this Hoya, but I will, I'm going to see. And it flowers after certain years, after a number of years. <coughs> Sorry. And I will show you the flowers, which are absolutely beautiful. Look at the flowers. They are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous flowers. And of course, I can wait for this Hoya to flower. Who knows, maybe in two or three years time, sometimes some of the Hoyas, uh, they take two to three years to flower. So we're going to see. So these are all my Hoyas that I absolutely love. Absolutely love, 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 love. Hoya serpents, I love this Hoya. And I'm really happy that this Hoya thrives in Leka and of course in soil as well. And I have three of them. They are quite small, they are not really that big, but I love uh, small plants who develops, of course, in bigger plants. And Hoya Linearis, which is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. I love, 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 love this Hoya. And I think I'm going to propagate. I'm going to fill the um, 
the pot absolutely beautiful and of course my Hoya Biancensis look how beautiful it is I love 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 the leaves absolutely beautiful gorgeous gorgeous Hoya to have in your collection one break off but doesn't matter I will show you look how beautiful it is absolutely gorgeous I love, 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 love this Hoya and I hope this Hoya is going to thrive in my care. So those were all the Hoyas that um, we uh, talk about today. Hoya Lineares, Hoya Serpents and of course my new Hoya, Hoya Biancensis. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Please like, up, subscribe of my YouTube channel Adina Kikero Plants equals happiness for uh, more future videos about houseplants, common, rare, and of course Hoyas that are number, my number one passion, or cactus and succulents, which I love them all. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, it will help me greatly, and uh, thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Have a lovely day, bye!